Welcome viewers, I'm Risto Kapenda. Today we are going to talk about Technical Study C for Grade 8. Today's lesson is about the machines. Here are our lesson objectives. At the end of today's program, you should be able to identify the different machines used in plumbing and pipe fitting, explain the uses of plumbing machines such as sheet metal machines and electrical machines. Now that you have seen the lesson objectives, let's get into our lesson. My name is uh, Mr. Ezekiel Nauta, a plumbing and pipe fitting trainer. So we are basically going to discuss about uh, machines used in plumbing operations. So we have different types of machines that we are using in plumbing operations. We have uh, bedding machine, rolling machines, uh, guillotine machines, drill, uh, pedestal drill machine, uh, pedestal grinding machines. So in, uh, we have different types of machine and th those different types of machines, they have different uses. As you see here, this is a, a bending machines. This bending machine, it's a different uh, different function from the other machines. So this one, it's a basic, what we are basically looking at when we are talking about the bedding machine, we are looking at the safety precautions regarding the bedding machine as well as the, the functions. The safety precaution, before you operate the machine, you check the surrounding for safety precautions. And you can also check if the, the bending bits, they are also uh, well tightened. The bending machine is basically used to bend sheet metal in different shapes. Example, for example, we are using it for bending gutters and flashings. The next one is a rolling machine. As you see here, this is a, a rolling machine. We, before we use it as runners, or as plumbers, we also need to check the surrounding. The safety precaution is the first thing to do. Something that we must not forget is the rubricant of the machine. As you see, this machine has, has, has some rust, some rust. So the, the machine needs to be rubricated at all times to prevent frictions and the rust as we see it. So that is very, very critical. So the machine or the dust, as I see them here, they need to be removed. The machine must be clean at all times. So you check the surrounding. As I see here, you cannot be able to use this machine while you see this nut far enough. The very first thing is to check around the safety of the machines, the, 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 the parts of the machines, if they are functioning well before you start operating it. Coming to the uses of the rolling machines, it's basically used to roll sheet metals in different shapes. In a round shape, in a cylindrical shape, and in a co uh, conical shape. So that's uh, actually, that is basically all about the rolling machines. We are now talking about guillotine machine. The guillotine machine, like any other machine, you also need to consider the safety. The safety, you have to check the surrounding of the, the machine by checking if there are loose items, loose workpiece that is on the, blade, on the blade of the machines, the, so that you might not damage it. If so, after you check that, there is also a rubricant part of it. You need to make sure that the machine is well rubricated all the time. Coming to the work, to the uses of this machine, this machine is actually used to cut sheet metal in any size that you measured before. And th that is basically all about this machine.
We are continuing with the other machines that we are using in plumbing. But uh, however, this one, they are electrical operated. Uh, this is a pendestral uh, grinding machine. It's electrical operated. It's different from the, the, the three that we have mentioned. This one is basically connected on power as we see it. And the safety uh, pre uh, precaution should be practiced as well on these machines. As we said, this is a practical uh, electrical operated. You have to take extra cautions about it. So the very first thing, you have to check the surrounding of the machines. That is part of safety, surrounding on the machine itself on, from top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top. So you check the grinding wheels, the two list of the machines, the switching buttons, switching off and on buttons of the machines, and the two, list, uh, uh, the two rest, as I said, it's if it's well tightened before you start operating. So the, the grinding machine, as the name implies, it's basically used to grind or to sharpen the tools. We have the tools that need to be sharpened in the industry, in the, in the plumbing industry. These are, you can either sharpen your scriber or the drip, the drip bits before, you, if it's blank, you need to sharpen it, actually. So it's not for sharpening the pugs, the X or the other stuffs. So basically that's all about pendestal grinding machine for now. Not so next to it, there's an, this is another electrical powered machine, which we call a pendestal drilling machine. The, the first thing again to, to, to do is to check the surrounding for safety. What is the surrounding, how the parts are fixed. It's, are they well tightened? The, the rockers, they are well fixed. The, 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 the base or the table base is well fixed as well. The, the base itself is well fixed. The, the electrical codes, you, you need to make sure that it's off while you are, while you are, while you are checking the safety aspects. And then you switch it on from there. When, if you, see, you have seen that everything is, is well. So the uses of the pedestal drilling machine is to drill, is to, you, is to make holes on sheet metals is to make holes on sheet metal so by inserting the, the, the drill size that you want in this in the in the drilling chunk. We have come to the end of our program. Let's have a look on what we have learned. You can already see different machines here in the workshop and you can see how they are being operated. These are sheet bending machines, rolling machine, gelatin machine, pedestal drill machine, and pedestal grinding machine. From me, until next time, see you.